baptized today, but we're going to baptize Wesley first, and um, then there'll be some others to follow. But I just want to, I just want to remind you again what we discussed in the message this morning: baptism will not, does not save you. It does not wash away your sins. Nothing magical happens in the water when you get baptized. The work is already done in your heart before you come to the water. That's why we call it believer's baptism. Everybody listening? So many talking. Children, please don't talk. Come on. Believer's baptism. That means that somebody has said yes to the Lord Jesus Christ. They believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. They've invited Jesus to come in their heart and be their Savior. And now they go to the water to show that the old life is gone. Raised to walk in newness of life. The Bible said we're buried with him by baptism. Amen. Crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, we live. We're alive because Jesus Christ lives in our heart. That's what baptism does. It's a showing of what takes place in the heart that you're a believer and not ashamed of it. Amen. So praise the Lord. Wesley, you come on first. No <laughs> man saved us. I see in obedience to the command of our Lord and Savior and upon your public profession of faith in Christ I baptize you now my brother in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit buried in the likeness of his death <laughs> raised in the likeness of his resurrection amen give him a big hand amen good we can take any one of those next. Lordine, come on. Praise the Lord.